as well as the European Archery Championships, Antalya hosted the penultimate qualification tournament for the upcoming Olympic Games. There were eight spaces available to European nations, four for men and four for women. With time running out and less than 50 days until the games begin, the tension was high and every arrow critical. As potential medal contenders in Tokyo, the fact that neither Turkey nor France had qualified quota places so far was something of a surprise. In Antalya, they set about rectifying the deficit. I, I, I have no words. It was a magic moment. Um, I'm, I'm really proud. And wow, what a day, what a week. Yani üstünden çok büyük bir yük katmış haldeyim. Ee, bundan sonraki çalışmalarımız artık kota almak yerine değil, madalya kazanmak için olacak ve ben de mental olarak bir şeyleri başarmış, bir şeyleri aşırarak olimpiyatlara gideceğim. Ee, tabii bu mentalitenin son olimpiyatlara bu kadar yakın tarihte olması beni çok mutlu ediyor. Je me sens très bien. Ce qui était très difficile, c'est de rentrer dans les quatre et de ne pas encore avoir de quota à titrer parce que la France avait dit que c'est celui qui rapporte le quota qui le gagne. C'est très difficile toujours de d'avoir un coéquipier d'équipe qui est adversaire du jour au lendemain, mais c'est la loi du sport et la loi du tireur. Archers from Slovakia, Slovenia, Spain and Germany also climbed the quota podium in Turkey, as tears and celebrations came in equal measure. The results in Antalya bring the total number of countries qualified for archery competitions at Tokyo 2020 to 41. Just one qualification event remains, the final quota places for the Olympics will be won in mid-June in the French capital of Paris. The road to Tokyo nears its end. <laughs>